Hi, it's Nick from Nail Control Lincoln and I'm still here. I know, I can't believe it either. Anyway, this week's challenge, Monogram Madness, sponsored by Cooper. Right, I can only use three colours, red, white and black. And we've had to take our inspiration from some of those fantastic monograms out there, such as the fashion houses, as a Louis Vuitton, Vivian Westwood, Coco Chanel, and not forgetting Mary Jane Barraclough, my nana, who had her initials on every handkerchief she ever owned. Anyway, here's my video. I hope you enjoy it. Catch you later. I took my inspiration this week from two artists best known for their non-objective artwork and their geometric style. Malevich and Lazinski were classed as trailblazers at the early part of the last century and their work is as stunning today as it was then. My first job was to design my own monogram and apparently changing my name to Volkswagen would have been a step too far. With this challenge being sponsored by Cooper, we could also only use the colours red, white and black. Traditional monograms have three letters, but I decided to use two this week, N and S, Nicholas Sawyer. Using a fine liner and C and D's gel polish, I cracked on with painting my monogram on all five nails. Then built that monogram into the geometric design. There's a bit of a knack when using a striping brush. Try and use the whole length of the brush and don't fling at the end. Let the brush do the work. It's definitely a case of slow and steady wins the race. I always have a rough plan when I'm designing a set of nails, but if during that time your idea changes or you get there and you're thinking this isn't working, don't be afraid to start again. Don't be afraid to wipe it off and give it another go. Drawing fine lines with gel polish can be tricky as well. You might find it easier if you work wet. This is where we don't cure in between the stages, but rather drag some of the gel polish down, therefore not having too much product on the brush. Fine detailing work takes time to learn, so don't be disheartened when you first start and your lines are a bit wobbly, it just takes a little practice. Using Cooper acrylic, I'm now going to make my acrylic shapes. I'm going to make these in red and black. These are the same shapes that the artist used in their artwork. When it's cured, I'm going over with a diamond file to tidy those edges up. Here we go. With the base nails being so shiny, I wanted my shapes to have a matte effect. After putting a coat of top coat on, I went over with clear acrylic and cured. By then spraying with alcohol, this will give a distressed look to these shapes. The acrylic powder can dampen the sharpness of the shapes, so I'm going over here and resharpening them up. I also use a bit of blue tack on the tips to practice where I'm actually going to put these shapes. I don't go in straight away gluing them. I want to make sure that I'm happy with their placement. All finished and not a Volkswagen badge in sight.